Weinberger v. Wiesenfeld, 1975. Paula Palaszczuk began working as a teacher in 1965. Each month, Social Security contributions were deducted from her salary. In 1970, Palaszczuk married Stephen Wiesenfeld in New Jersey. Paula's income became the primary source of income for the family because her husband had an irregular source of income. In 1972, Paula died giving birth to their son, Jason. This left her husband, Stephen, in sole responsibility for their son. When Stephen applied to the Social Security office for benefits, his son was entitled to $206.90 per month, but Stephen was denied survivor's benefits. According to Social Security, survivor benefits were available to surviving mothers and children, not fathers. Stephen sued in federal court on the grounds that the policy of Social Security violated the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment. The case went all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. In an eight to nothing decision, the Supreme Court ruled that the denial of benefits to a widower was unconstitutional. The court ruled that the denial of benefits solely on the basis of sex was a violation of the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment to the Constitution.